asteroid warning that the god of chaos, the Apophis asteroid, will strike twice, 2029-2036. This is what astronauts are fearing. In the video before this one, we spoke about, again, the fear of uh, asteroid strike, Earth impact, and the scientists have told us that they have no way of stopping something like this. And uh, not only that, but they've also revealed to us that the OSIRIS-REx mission is basically uh, not feasible because the craft that was supposed to land on Bennu to get a sample of Bennu can't land because Bennu is so rag rugged that nothing can land on it to take the sample. So what to do? I guess I'll have to find some other asteroid that's smoother. But that's a failure, it seems. So they spend all that money for nothing. And now we have um, another asteroid, which is one of the hazardous objects. The Apophis, the god of chaos. The Apophis is uh, translated as god of chaos. It's a 370 meter, that's about 1,200 feet across in diameter. It's a near-Earth asteroid that caused a brief period of concern in December 2004 because initial observations indicated a probability of 2.7% that it would hit Earth in about 10 years. And remember the desktop drill that they had back in uh, April was again the specifics, the parameters of this Apophis asteroid, that something would be coming at us about that size around April of 2029. You know, all the particulars had to do with what Apophis was. It's an S-type asteroid, they say. It was discovered June 19, 2004. Now, what's now with the Apophis? We have the path here, the trajectory of the rock as... Um, Will, it will be a near miss on our planet April 13th, 2029. That's um, assuming that it'll stay on its axis and its trajectory and that it won't have the Yarkovsky effect affecting it. Oh, the other thing that they found with Bennu, if you see the video before this one, it's not just that they can't land on Bennu. It's also that they found that the asteroid has the Yarkovsky effect on it and that it's not staying on its orbit because it's t twisting and turning on its uh, axis because of the solar heat on the surface of the asteroid causing it to tumble on its axis and leaving its trajectory and going it's going faster it's going faster than it would have been going so you know it, they're changing all the time not to say that uh, 20,000 of the near-Earth asteroids uh, are not accounted for because they don't know where they are at this point. They move because of uh, various effects on them. Now concerning the Apophis asteroid, terrifying space rock dubbed the god of chaos has a slim chance of striking on two different dates according to what astronomer has claimed. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK and uh, is the information that we have from NASA of course an impact with a the 1214 foot wide that's 370 uh, meters across in diameter the asteroid could be cataclysmic and causing uh, a wide devastation obviously leveling entire continents and as a result astronomers are keen on tracking the asteroid's trajectory, predicting the odds of Earth impact. According to astronomer Bartos Baldiga of the Olszyn Planetarium of Poland, there are two dates that stand out. They are 2029 and 2036. On April 13, 2029, the asteroid Apophis will scrape by our planet from a distance of just 19,000 miles above its surface. That's, that's, not, that's not 
not too, that's very close, don't you think? 19,000 miles? That, that's nothing. The close brush will bring the asteroid closer to our planet than the moon, obviously. The event will also mark the closest ever flyby of an asteroid of its size. No kidding. <laughs> I mean, if it be any closer, my goodness, I don't want to think of what could happen. Really. I mean, who knows what, what kind of gases and minerals these things carry with them or what kind of icy particles. Uh, if they were any closer, I mean, sure, it would surely have some kind of a, you know, what about Earth's gravitational pull on it? I mean, this is just a, 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 I, I don't want my mind, you know, I'm just uh, getting away with myself here. I don't want to think of what could happen. Uh, now, NASA's asteroid trackers even warned that some spacecraft that fly at these heights and this region of space is, as we know, populated by our satellites. Now, although Apophis will not hit our Earth on this occasion, the astronomer Baldiga said that there is a small chance Apophis could strike a satellite during the flyby. Okay, so if it strikes something, um, obviously it's huge, so uh, if it strikes a satellite, the most that can happen is the satellite can come careening into Earth, it'll probably burn in the atmosphere, and we'll have pieces or chunks falling in an ocean somewhere. Hopefully it won't uh, hit the uh, satellite won't won't be able to hit pieces off the Apophis. I don't know. Anyway, the possibility uh, they say has led to concern. Apophis could then deviate from its orbit enough to come crashing into Earth in 2036. What can you say? Now NASA also listed ten dates on which there is a slim chance Apophis and Earth will cross paths. And uh, Baltigla, ba, Baltiga thinks that the odds of um, impact are too low to sound the alarm bells. He said, uh, on April 13, it will approach from a distance of 38,000 kilometers. And let's remind ourselves, geostationary satellites fly from a height of 35,000 kilometers from Earth's surface. So basically, it's at that level. And he says, there is a fear Apophis could hit a satellite and change its trajectory and hit Earth in 2036 when it visits us again. And he goes on to explain, however, the latest study suggests Apophis impact with a satellite would be comparable to a car's windshield hitting a bug. Okay? So effectively, it won't disrupt the trajectory of Apophis. That is, the satellite won't have any effect on Apophis. Now, the asteroid expert also added the odds of an impact are so low, you have a better chance of winning a lottery ticket. Now, you'll be shocked to know how long they were spotting this. We, well, we know that it was discovered June 19, 2004 by astronomers at the Kitt Peak National Observatory. And how long were they observing it? Asteroid trackers at the observatory were able to observe the space rock for two days. Two days, that's all, before their views were obstructed by bad weather. And as a result of the mishap, there was some uncertainty about the space rock's orbit. NASA has since ruled out any major risk of impact, including on the two dates of 2029 and 2036. Now also, Don Yeomans of NASA's Near Earth Object Program says, with the new data provided by the Magdalena Ridge and Panstars optical observatories, along with very recent data provided by the Goldstone Solar System Radar, we have effectively ruled out the possibility of an Earth impact by Apophis in the year 2026. And he goes on to say the impact odds as they stand now are less than one in a million, which makes us comfortable saying we can effectively rule out an Earth impact in 2036. Our interest in asteroid Apophis will essentially be for its scientific interest for the foreseeable future. End quote. Okay, so 
uh, even though NASA assures us there is no impact, there are those that are afraid that Apophis is dead set on impacting Earth. One asteroid tracker feels the colossal rock could set the Earth back to prehistoric times, and we have even the conspiracy theorists attempting to predict a date when Apophis will even impact our Earth. God forbid. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.